welcome back to the channel guys it is me ad from before so today guys we'll be predicting the 2023-2024 uefa europa league playoff round so we have our playoff games guys we have 10 of the games to predict now there will be one game that i will not be able to predict obviously i'll have to wait until saturday because we have to wait until uh dinamo Zagreb play against um what is it called aka athens so the loser of that will be playing against sparta prague so let's go ahead and look at the player. Let's go look at the third qualifying round before we even look into the um my predictions um, for the playoff rounds. Let's see how many get correct. And yeah, so let's go look at this. So the third qualifying round. Let's start with the first game. We got Zalgiris versus BK Hacking. Now I did predict BK Hacking to advance, so I got one point for that. Let's go. Korbek versus HAK. I said Korbek will advance, so two points for that. Then we have Zerniski Moster versus Barrowbeck. I predicted um, Barrowbeck to advance, and unfortunately they didn't, so they actually lost. So Zerniski Moster advanced. Congratulations to them. So one wrong there. Sheriff Teresopo versus Bay Borisov. I predicted Sheriff Teresopo to advance, and they did. So three points for me. Astana versus Ludogorets Razgard. I predicted Ludogorets to advance, and they did. So four points for me. So, so far, I've got four correct and one wrong. Then we have Olympiakos versus Gank. I predicted Gank to advance, so one wrong for me and then slavia prague versus dinner pro one i predicted slavia to advance so overall guys i got five out of the seven i only missed up with two predictions so i'm generally pretty happy with that and yeah like i said guys we're gonna go ahead and move on to the playoff round so let me go ahead and explain how the playoff round works so as you can see this was a priority this was a, the seeding for the draw and um as you can see right here guys the winners of these games actually make it to the europa league and of course the losers go to the conference league group stage all right so let me go ahead and zoom that in it's a little bit small for you guys i believe so i'll make it a little bigger um i think 110 is good let's just do 110 all right so the first match we have is slavia Prague versus Zur zurhe lunisk this is a very interesting one guys i am going to go with slavia Prague to advance so i feel like they're a very underrated team even though they have kind of regressed in the last couple of years i feel like for me they just have such a good team i like zora lunisk I think they have a great team. The problem, though, is that I, I just feel like the fact that they probably will not have the home leg at second will be a very, very disappointment for them. I think they'll play in a neutral venue, and I just don't really trust. Um, I just don't really trust them. They had Olympiacos was like uh, Kuk, Kukariki. I'm really trying my best to pronounce this right. Um, and Olympiacos, I, I have them to win. Even though they did struggle to beat Gank. They managed to get the job done. And I feel like for me, the first leg, they're going to win by a big score. And even though the second leg is on the road, I feel like they're going to... I feel like because of the fact they won the first leg by such a big margin, the second leg will be pretty much uh, 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 friendly. Um, uh, very meaningless for them. So, yeah. They have Union St. Colossus with Lugano. A very interesting one, guys. I'm not really confident with this one because Union SG kind of have fallen off. I don't think they have been as good. They have sold a lot of big-name players. This summer in particular, I am still going to go with them to advance, but I wouldn't be surprised if Lugano advance, especially the second leg being at home. But I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt to Union SG. I feel like they still have a very good team, even if they sold a lot of key players. Then we have Ludogorets with Razgard versus Ajax. I'm going to go Ajax to advance. I feel like Ajax for me have a very strong team. Yes, they have not been as great. I feel like Ludogorets is just not a match for them. Then we have BK Hakuin versus Aberdeen. This is a very interesting one. I could actually see Aberdeen pull this off. But once again, guys, I think Hakan will have win the first leg by a big score line, and I feel like that's going to be enough for them to advance. They have LESK versus Zerinsky, Zerinsky Moster, and I am going to go with LESK to advance. I feel like they have a very strong team, um, and I feel like they just have a very good team, so I'm going to go with them to advance. Maybe Zerinsky can do it. I wouldn't be surprised, but I'm going to go with LESK. Then we have KI versus Sheriff Teresa guys. I'm going to go with the upset. I'm going to go with KI to advance. I've been really, really impressed with what they did in the Champions League. They put up a very, very good fight against Mold. And, of course, we know what they did against Hakin, and we know what they did against um, Ferenc Varos. So I'm going to go with them to advance. They were Olympia, um, Lub Lublana, Lubana, Lub wait, Lubana, Lubana. Um, I'll just say Olympia, uh, you know, just to save the, just to, for my sake. Then first a quarterback. I'm going to go quarterback to advance. I feel like they have a very good team. And the second leg being at home is a is great enough for them. And I think they'll win. Then we have um Slovian Batisov versus Eris Limazol. Um this is gonna be an interesting one, guys. I could actually see Eris Limazol do this because Slovian Batisov have not really been great on the road. 
So, ugh, this is a very tricky one, guys. I am still going to slow in Bartos Blade to advance, but I wouldn't be surprised that Ares Lemazul does it. So, and then obviously the last match we cannot predict until Saturday. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'll probably have a separate match for the Saturday one, um, if, for those that are wondering. So, let me let me know your predictions in the comments below, guys. Hopefully we can get at least um, at least six correct, you know, get at least get half of these correct. And you like us, so guys. Let me know your predictions, comments below, guys. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. Make sure you guys comment up with your thoughts in the comments below. Remember, guys, to become a member of the channel, get access to member streams, and members' video. Remember, guys, those typically take place on the weekends. And yeah, like I said, guys, make sure to turn on the notification bell to be notified whenever I go live and upload a video. And also check out me, my other plots in the description below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.